Hi, welcome to another video on the Blue Abroad YouTube channel. In today's video, let's talk about the John Nichols medal. Let's talk about the top five. I'm gonna predict who I think will be in the top five, and then I'm gonna ask you to predict who will be in the top five, and we'll see how close we can get to the winners. Now, I remember my preseason predictions I remember going to preseason training and I remember Patrick Cripps was a standout from the beginning. In actual fact, I reckon I said that he may even win the Brownlow in the preseason predictions video. I think he's had a full preseason. In fact, I know he has because he said he had and looks to be moving freely. I think Patrick Cripps will win the best and fairest this year. I'm, I'm going all in on Cripps pretty much. Could even win the Brownlow. I don't know. Might be getting carried away. So... In my mind, this is just a pretty straightforward Patrick Cripps, John Nichols medal. So that would take him to five John Nichols medals. That's that's a big deal. So I'm going to start off with Patrick Cripps in first place. We all know the year that he had two-time Brownlow medalist now. He was, he was awesome and you could see it from preseason, the way he was moving. He did the full preseason and there's no surprise that he was able to play to the level that he did given the preparation that he had. So Patrick Cripps in one, in second place. In second place, I'm gonna go with Nick Newman. Yeah, he polled very well last year. And I think the defensive side of the game and the role that he plays, I just think there's a high level of trust with Nick Newman and he had a really strong season. I thought this was the best season of his career, following up what I thought was the best season of his career last year. And I think we are seeing the very best of him. Um, one of the few players on the list that I look at now and I say, well, you just do the basics really well. Competes at a high level and does the basics well. Um, and I think he will be rewarded with second place in the 2024 John Nichols medal. In third place, I'm going to go with Jacob Wiedering. Yeah, Jacob. I mean, I, I mean, I'm guessing what is valued on the inside, and defense is definitely valued. And I, I mean, I value Jacob Wiedering and what he does for this group a lot. And I do wonder, you know, given the coaches are voting for the John Nichols Medal, uh, I do wonder how much gravity gets put onto, you know, the leadership positions and, and fulfilling those leadership positions and, and carrying the standard. And I mean, I think Jacob's season, I mean, he's all Australian. So he had a great year. He had an injury interrupted preseason, had the calf. And so for him to prepare the way he did, get injured and then find a way to recover the way he did and play and impact the way he did, I think will be viewed in a really high light. And so I'm going to put Jacob Wiedering third. In fourth... I'm going to put Harry Mackay. I think Harry Mackay. Now, Harry Mackay was the other one that I thought looked really good in the preseason. And he was moving very well, very freely. I remember it clearly. It was Cripps, Harry, and I liked what I saw from Motlop and Elijah Hollins. But Harry Mackay, you know, this is a this is actually a really good story. And I, I think because he's a highly paid player and highly invested player and you know, we, we talk about that a lot. So there's expectation that Harry is going to be great. But, you know, he, he struggled a lot last year. He lost his confidence. Um, injury interrupted year somewhat towards the end. Compounded with the confidence that he lost. And, you know, he was just extremely inaccurate. And he fixed it. He went back. He worked on it. Got his routine right. Started the season really well. I thought he was very consistent. And I thought he had a really good balance with his goal kicking and his ability to impact up the ground, take marks, control, you know, the territory for us and allow us to assert ourselves moving forward. And so I think he will finish fourth in the BNF. And then fifth, oh, honestly, I'm tossing up between Blake Akers and Elijah Hollins. I think Elijah Hollins was really good. I mean, I think they were both really good. And I think... You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to go with Elijah Hollins. I think they would have loved what they got from him. And I noticed a guy that firstly had a great preseason, looked really good 
in all the match sim that I saw in those open training sessions. I thought he was consistent. I thought he hit the scoreboard and I thought they moved him around and they showed a, a high level of trust really early on in the piece in his experience with us. And I think he might surprise some people and finish in the top five. If it's not Elijah, then it'll be Blake. So that's my top five. What about you? Have a prediction. Leave a comment below. One through to five. Who you got? And uh, I'll report back on probably Monday. The Best and Fairest is on Sunday, the 6th of October. So I'll have all the stories and all the recap from Sunday night for you on Monday. And we'll go from there. Go Blues. Yeah.